crimes of the defendant's character. Right now at four, Samantha Rabin found guilty what the victim's family said right after that verdict. Plus, a killer up for parole. How the family of an Horry County high schooler murdered more than 30 years ago is reacting and why today's decision isn't the last. And enjoy the warmth for now. Looking at a drop in temperatures and rain chances coming up in my first word forecast. WMBF starts with breaking news. This is WMBF News First at Four. I'm Erica Edwards. Breaking this afternoon, the woman who came up with the plan to have her father and half-brother killed in the Conway area will spend the rest of her life in prison. Our Ali Espinosa has followed this trial all week long and was there for that guilty verdict. And Ali, what was it like inside the courtroom? Yeah, Erica, you can definitely feel the tension inside of that courtroom. Samantha Rabin actually started crying after her guilty verdicts were read. Now, it took the jury roughly two hours to determine Rabin is guilty of hiring Randy Granger to shoot and kill her own father and half brother Robert and Robbie Ford in August of 2018. The prosecution believes her motive was for inheritance money, and they revealed she got over a million dollars in property and money after the murders. Raven's defense attorneys tell me today is a sad day for the Raven and the Ford family. Robert Ford's oldest sister, Anita Hayes, addressed the court before a judge sentenced Raven to life in prison. Anita Hayes says their family has to tragically accept that Raven could ever do something like this. She says today's verdict is something they've been waiting for for a long time now. I'm just so proud of what happened in that courtroom today. Uh, we thank the prosecution for their input, the years that we have been waiting. It has been over five and a half years since the tragic death of our brother and nephew. God is good. Now, Raven's co-defendants, Randy Granger and Teresa Martin, will be sentenced right here tomorrow morning. For now, live in Horry County, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.